Welcome back to our League of Legends Top 5 Plays, a countdown to some of your best moments while battling on the Rift. Before we jump into our first play, I wanted to run a quick giveaway for $25 in RP to give back to those who support our channel. Anyone can enter by dropping us a comment saying which play was your favorite, like this video and be a subscriber. We have an amazing lineup for you today, so let's get started with an epic turnaround play submitted by Otro Noob to land on Caitlyn. As they exit the temper fate, Caitlyn tries to trade kills on Jin, but Thresh drops quickly and the exhaust denies her from finishing off the kill. Current call comes down and Bard journeys over, but Caitlyn pulls out the happy feet to dodge multiple shots as well as Bard's Q. Jin misses all four shots, but I'll give it to Caitlyn, her movements were very unpredictable. She puts a trap down, giving her a headshot on Jin as she just barely edges out the kill so that dangerous game keeps her alive to pick up the double. Moving right along in today's lineup, we have the number 4 spot taken by the Diabetic on Rakan. The enemy team begins to pressure the tower and decides to start diving, but Rakan sees an opening and counter engages with his ultimate and knock up into Malphite's ultimate, which absolutely destroys the enemy team despite being a man down. Because the wombo combo was so clean and they get the ace quickly, they're able to transition to Baron and swing the game. Let's rewind back to that amazing counter attack pieced together by Rakan and Malphite. Things are heating up as we get into the second half of today's episode with Pank Rack on Thresh at the number 3 spot. He runs down mid and gets close enough to throw out a hook, reading Ari, but they don't finish her off because of Tempered Fate. Pink Rack gets her low enough for Lee Sin's resonating strike to get the kill, and then a quick face in the mountain shield saves his buddy from Bard's auto. He turns on Zaya with his friendly Ash, flaying her into the box for the slow, and then he lands the blind hook after she flashes over to deliver another kill. Volley tags Bard for the slow, but he goes for the magical journey, but gets denied by one of the craziest flays I've ever seen. The Q lands to secure their final kill, but let's have one more look at that because honestly that was the next level flay, hitting Bard through the wall and at max range. Landing in at our number 2 play, we're going to keep the support train rolling with Ultimatic on Zillion. Right off the bat, the enemy Gragas goes in and ults Galio deep into enemy territory, but Zillion is able to sneak in Chrono Shift to save his life. He turns his focus to the Gragas, who's overstayed his welcome, getting a massive double bomb for the stun, but both teams end up disengaging to feel things out. For whatever reason, Lucian overextends and gets jumped on as the fight breaks out again and Galio lands a big taunt. Graves gets locked up, but Zillion comes to the rescue with another amazing double bomb on all four, breaking the Malzolt and setting up the Galio to come crashing down. Thanks to Zillion's timely double bombs and general positioning in this play, him and his team crush the fight and buy themselves some much needed time. And for our number one pro play for this week, we have the unlikely tag team duo of support and jungle saving the game when things are looking grim. We start this play off with Karma's team getting demolished and put on long death timers, but she procs the GA on Yasuo with an empowered inner flame. Karma plays back and shields him as the enemy team brute forces the tower, but then she dodges the hook, throws out another mantra Q, and keeps her spacing. The tower goes down, so she crucible and shields him for the speed up, but then Lissandra starts glacial path, so Karma stays quick on her feet, outranging the ring of frost, and then she turns around and lands a crucial empowered inner flame on Tristan. Stana. She speeds up Nautilus so he can stick to his target as Karma tethers onto Lissandra and baits her in, flashing but keeping her range to get the root as she lands another Q and speeds up the big boy. They take down the mid laner and keep pushing forward but Karma has her W back up and Nautilus sees this so he swaps targets, collapsing on Nunu with again the help of Karma's burst of speed. Nunu goes down and they lose the inhib but honestly all things considered that was an epic base defense. The damage from tank junglers and supports fall off heavily as the game progresses, but this shield duo did so much work by synergizing and positioning really well. Karma jukes and dodges while healing off her Mantra W, rooting Yasuo and then chains it with a slight slow from her Q so that Annie can close in for their fourth kill. Oh, and a Baron. We've had a lot of amazing support plays in today's episode, so for a bonus I decided it was fitting to keep within the theme. King Fathead shows up just in time to lantern his teammate out, but while he's taking the Dark Passage, Thresh jukes for him by moving slightly down and pulling Yasuo out of the laser. Face of the Mount Shield absorbs a tower shot, and when Lee War jumps forward, Thresh moves back to block and pulls up his box. All of a sudden, a rocket comes flying in, but Thresh has his back a second time. King Fathead is the support we want, but not the one we deserve. I wanted to take a moment to thank our sponsor for today's episode, MeUndies. All my life I've kind of just gone for those lower quality pack of four underwears that you can pick up at any store and getting MeUndies was a game changer. If you're on your computer a lot like me, underwear comfort matters so much and these are so worth the small investment to improve your comfort throughout the day. By using MeUndies.com slash Potato Monster you get 20% off your first order and 33% off a subscription if you decide you'd like to go that route. There's no coupon code, it's automatically applied by using that link and they do have both men and women women's underwear. I promise you won't regret trying one out and they do have many many options so go check it out for yourself. 
Thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to drop us that comment, like the video, and subscribe for more leak content coming your way. Until next time, take care of yourselves and have an awesome day.